Hey, what up, Yellow Groove? I was thinking about uh, your excellent smoke bomb video. And uh, and it occurred to me, actually, I used to work... Uh, well, I suppose that's, that's putting it too strongly. I used to be uh, connected to a... Uh, uh, to, well, let's just say I had access to fireworks that you wouldn't normally have access to. Um, it's crazy ones. They are these... Uh, these B-52 bombers, and they were they were big. They're like children's toys, and uh, the uh, the wings were uh, had bombs on them. And the idea is, uh, according to the instructions, is that they would spin up into the air, and then the wings would explode and pop, 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 pop. But in actuality, uh, none of them did that. What they'd all do is get to about six or seven feet off the ground and just explode in a fiery burst. And uh, and they were since they were big. Um, large flaming chunks of cardboard and that kind of thick that shell that thick shell stuff that wraps around the firework be like spewing everywhere I saw it catch two fires um, before we stopped using them uh, and so uh, I wanted to tell you two excellent uh, things gone awry uh, one is I had uh, it was a two-inch shell or a three-inch shell. I'm not sure. It was it was large. Um, I had the uh, the launching tube and everything like that. And I never never done anything like that before. And so I jammed the launching tube into the sand. And uh, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking you need a flat base at the bottom. I think I don't think it could be loose sand. Um, and uh, it was in a really crowded area. There were tents everywhere. It was going to be for a, a fireworks show. And uh, some people actually, while I was putting the tube in, set their tent up right next to the tube. I'm like, I'm not so sure you want to be right next to this tube. And so they moved it like two or three feet over. And so, uh, so I drop the uh, the shell in. I light it, and uh, you know, like this, it's this, it's this like red bulb about this big with a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a, a knob coming off the bottom. And I light the fuse and I run away. And uh, so it goes off, but it only launches maybe 20 feet into the air. And uh, so the whole beach just expands with this, this flashing light. And uh, that, stuff, uh, that stuff goes right through tents. So everybody's tent that was within, I don't know, like 30 or 35 feet or more, um, that all ha it was all peppered with holes. So I destroyed an epic amount of tents in one go. And uh, so people were like, who did that? Who did that? And then like, and everyone went straight to the launcher. And I'm like, whoa, backing up. And then uh, the guy who I asked to move said, uh, it was some young guy. And I'm like, oh, oh man, it's lynching time. And so I just kind of drift like some sort of like smoky ninja off into the, uh, the unburnt tent section. Um, but uh, that did not dissuade me. I had, I'm like, well, okay, no more of those. Uh, but I had some, some other, so I had some rockets. I had some large rockets. And uh, I'm like, all right, here we go. And I, I kept noticing, actually, that the rocket's fins kept coming off as I was moving around. I'm like, all right, maybe it's supposed to do that. Um, you know, I'll just wedge it on really good before I launch it. And so I go right to the edge of the water. It's on the Columbia River. There's also a sea of boats right out in front of me as well. Now, a lot of people are wading back and forth. A lot of people are inviting people from the beach out onto their boats. So they're all really close to the shore. And so I, I jam this rocket into the sand. Uh, and I do it kind of hard because I think what I'm doing is um, wedging that the, the tail, the fins, on really good. But, uh, but I didn't. Uh, what I did was wedge the, wedge the fin into the sand really good. And uh, so I light it and step back, and the thing launches, except it doesn't take the fins. So it goes whoosh, 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 whoosh. And so it, that only goes about, uh, you know, another 10 feet. And it goes right into the back of uh, this guy's boat. And the boat's full of people. And everyone's sitting all around the edge of this boat uh, looking out. And so you can see, like, all their backs are lit. Um, and uh, one of the guys just turns his head and looks into the center of his boat. You can see his expression clearly when it explodes. Um, so uh, just l like blue sparkly light comes shooting out of the center of this guy's boat. And everyone just kind of like just slides straight into the water. 
and uh, it's like so it's dark, it's smoky. Uh, I'm on a crowded beach, and that guy comes out of the water and locks eyes with me. He, he it's like I guess I'm like oh, <laughs> I'm the only one like looking horrified, and he starts coming out of the water, and uh, once again I vanish into the night, and uh, in, a, in a highly effective manner. <laughs> I actually went into somebody's tent. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm not going to light off any fireworks. That'll be my punishment. I don't want any more punishment. So, All right, there you go. Yellow Groove. Uh, some irresponsible, irresponsible behavior. I was very young. I was, uh, I was a teenager when I did that stuff. So uh, I, 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 know, I know not to mess around now with explosives. Or at least, you know, know what I'm doing if I want to mess around with explosives. So... All right, I'll see you in the tubes.